Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my second half of my 2018 flip through of my Erin Condren Vertical Neutral. The first half will be up in a card right now. Um, but next week, if you don't want to watch these long talk through ones, there will be a, a whole 2018 sped through flip through. It'll be like three minutes long, maybe less. <laughs> So if you just want to watch that and listen to a little nice song for a couple of minutes and see all of them, that will be up next week. But otherwise, check out the first half and then come back here and let's watch this one. But the first half was January to June. So now we're into July and all, I should say all my monthlies are from Scribble Prince Co. They're all pre-planning. They're just boring things like bills, plans, paydays, just things I need to remember while I'm weekly planning. This is the week of the Aaron Condren body, so it's been more exciting. Um, but yeah, otherwise, that's what this looks like. Sometimes I put in simply Gilded Washi. I haven't for December yet, um, so I should probably do that after this, but I will. Whatever. <laughs> so that's July. Now, I should also say, until December, I'm living in Australia, and so the year seasons have flipped, if you didn't know that, and you're new to my channel. Um, so this is the middle of winter right now. <laughs> but this is the week of my mother's birthday, and this is a kit, my first custom for Scribble Prince Co. for Mother's Day, and I thought it just suited my mum a lot. It was a lot like my mum, so I used it for her birthday instead. And yeah, what happened this week? There was apparently Scribble Prince, there was simply gilded new washi this week. I baked muffins, we finished watching all of Lucifer, I'm so happy it's coming to Netflix. I got a haircut, yeah, it was an okay day. Whoa, I do love the gold, I think this is where I started using proper gold overlays, I don't know, like foil overlays, but I think the week is okay. Then the next week, I didn't use any foil, just to have a break. This is a Two Little Bees Buffalo Plaid Kit, and I use these SBC bow headers. I thought they looked really good. Through the bow, full boxes through the middle. And it was my dad's birthday on the Sunday. Um, I just finished a whole bunch of art. It started on a custom. We were watching Preacher at the time. I don't know, not much else happened. I uh, went shopping, oh, my mom came in to town. Yeah, so for my dad's and her's birthday combined. But that was this week. Then the week before the SPC Planner Party, I did Planner Moon from SPC, which is my um, Sailor Moon art. And uh, I, just, I put it with all this hollow foil from the Sticky Committee and this hollow foil vinyl from Fox and Pip, one of her bows. Just put that over the top in the corner, and I thought this week turned out so good. Um, yeah, I think just that turned out really, really well. I see I was moist. Oh, I, <laughs> I missed a sticker here. Oh, no. Can we, like, let just do some stick. This is like a SBC foil thing. Maybe I can stick one of these in. It started Party It's Podcast. I'll just do a heart. Whoops, that's been empty since July. That's embarrassing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was just making Austin plans and just, um, oh, I booked my New York hotel this week for September. Yeah, otherwise, uh, and we had a lunch date at this great pasta place, so we'd never have dates or anything, so that was really nice doing nothing on the computer <laughs> but yeah I loved this week it just turned out so pretty and then it was the SBC planner party so of course I used SBC planner girl kit which was the cyber Monday mystery from the week the year prior um yeah it was flying all Wednesday and um, this is like what our ticket and like entry and stuff came with when we entered the party I had the timetable and also came with this cute pocket, so I just stuck a um, Erin Condren clip. So you clip it in, and I did my one photo uh, photo um, booth stack here. Um, I didn't 
know when photo booth stuff was happening and no one invited me to any. I don't know, I'm a loser. So um, this is the only one I got in on. But all the people are super duper nice, happy to be in their photos, <laughs> ruining their photos for them. So um, but I put that there because I wanted to remember it. And this is a part of the party. Yeah, super duper fun. These were freebie on the old PR freebies from SPC and they had um, Andrea, Jessica and Kirsten that I drew so I put them down there because I met them, I don't know. <laughs> and I had a great day with Shira, Denise, their boyfriends, Mandy and Samantha just hanging out in Austin getting barbecue and bubble tea, so good. Then I was still in Austin until Wednesday so I use this sort of, I don't know, cacti, westy feeling kit from SPC again, um, flying all day long. Yeah, thought this was a really nice week, except Locke's um, aunt died, sadly. Yeah, but when we got, when I got home, I, I think I got a virus on the plane, so I was kind of sick all this weekend and the week after. Um, but we did cook a brisket because, you know, I had just been in Austin, in Texas. So we cooked a brisket. But I think this turned out, I just love these colors. They are beautiful. And then this is the August monthly. Main thing was, Luck left the state to move to Finland and we had our 12 year anniversary a couple of weeks before. So funny enough about this kit from SPC is that in Samantha, Samantha plans in her flip through, she said she totally, she thought she wasted, kind of ruined this kit in her weekly thing. And I was like, me too, girl, me too, because I was sick this whole week. And look at it. It's so sad. I couldn't write anything like the whole week. <sighs> so that was very sad. I did watch I, Tonya. That was good. But yeah, otherwise... I don't know. I totally wasted this kit, which is too bad. Because I was just so sick. Um, but then August 6th was our 12 year anniversary. So I used this kit from Two Little Bees, uh, which is her Valentine's Day kit for 2018. But um, yeah, I decided to save it for our anniversary, and I think it worked perfectly. So we had an anniversary. I don't know, we didn't do much. We started Westworld and we finished Westworld Season 1 here, started Westworld Season 2 and finished it on Sunday. So we watched all of Westworld this week, which was very good. I'm looking forward to the next season whenever that happens. <laughs> uh, but I thought this week turned out really cute. I love how you use this study committee, like really faint little confettis through the floral. They just turned out so pretty. Just a little touch. I mean, I love this two little bees kit. Then I was kind of tired of winter kits and I kind of ran, ran out of them. So I used more kits I just wanted to use up and like that I had in my collection. So I used this clueless one from SPC. Use my favorite, simply Gilded Washi, which I actually don't know where it is right now, but hopefully I still have it. We will see. Um, but yeah, no, this week was okay. Um, we're just preparing for luck leaving to Finland. Had my dad over. We watched Death of Stalin. Highly recommend that film. Um, we had super expensive pizza. It was so good. But yeah, I just love the way this week turned out. I love anything purple and cute. So the 22nd is when luck left to Finland. So I used this um, pretty box from Planning World that... Um, Juan had made this especially for Kiki um, Paper Princess and she gave this to me at the SBC Planner Party. So it's like a special box to use. Uh, and I love all this silver foil. But yeah, so they left on Wednesday. It's pretty sad. But I spent some time with friends. On the weekend with Steph, we went to Crazy Rich Asians, which was so good. Um, dumplings, bow, I bought rosé, I found out the train station 
Um, Lick store had my favorite rosé, so I pulled that. Basically just hung out, I don't know. But I thought this SPC kit was really pretty. It kind of matched with the have courage kind of sentiment. Oh, and I used this Simply Gilded um, floral washi from one of the boxes. I just, it's my favorite. I love it. It's so pretty. And then we're into September monthly. This month I went to New York City. Um, so that's in there. Otherwise, so much else. Um, so I decided the 1st of September is the first day of spring in Australia. So I used this mystery kit with like cherry blossoms and things. Because I thought this was pretty springy. I love the silver foil. I thought it was so pretty. Um, SPC kit. And it was Father's Day. My dad came over and had dinner and watched Deadpool 2. I bought my first Pella rings. So exciting. And I was starting to get um, like uh, uh, allergies because, you know, the spring was happening. <laughs> so that was pretty annoying. But otherwise, yeah, I don't know, not much else going on. I was playing the game Two Point Hospital, which is, I highly recommend, such a good game. Then I decided I had all these leftover Halloween kits from 2017. So I decided to do some spooky September. So here's the first one um, from SPC Best Witches. I just love the colors on this. And I couldn't think of a good foil to go with it, so I just um, left it foilless. But I think it's gorgeous and just dark and bright and colorful, even though it's dark and bright, but <laughs> you know what I mean. And I booked my flights to Toronto because Alok was spending a month there, so I was going to go for my birthday. And there's a washi pre-sale, that's awesome, and Monique's birthday, and Reese's birthday. And I watched Dracula, my all-time, Bram Stoker's Dracula, my old, one of my all-time favorite films. But yeah, I really love how this kit turned out. Then this is the week I went to New York. I just went from Thursday to Sunday. So I didn't do much leading up except put Heidi in boarding, um, finish my gift bags. And then Thursday I just slept because I was just so tired from flying in. I arrived at like, I don't know, 5 a.m. Um, and then I went and saw Wicked with Casey in Zelanda. Um, and they were super duper nice and such a great show. I really enjoyed it. I'd never seen Wicked before. Then Friday I did like a huge walk to the Met through Central Park. I went from Times Square to the Met. I took a long time and it was very hot and humid so I was like so sweaty and gross. But it was a really nice walk in the end. It was pretty good in my vlog. Um, I do have a vlog up of this weekend. And of the school Prince Go party as well. And I went and saw the Catholic Imagination Exhibition, which was so good. I went to the Lion Store, which I got this little sticker from the Lion Store. I love Lion. I've used it for years. And then, I know, because of stuff that happened that day, I cried a lot that night and... <laughs> It wasn't great. I cut that out of my vlog. Um, yeah, just crappy stuff happening. And yeah, stuff happens. But then there was the day of the SGS planner conference and it was really fun meeting lots of new people and stuff. Um, then I just kind of hung out around New York. Didn't do much on Sunday and then left that evening. But yes, that was this week. Um, oh, sorry. This is a Wicked kit that I did custom for Andrea for S SPC. So I used that because I was seeing Wicked. <laughs> um, and then the next week, I was flying all day in September, and I got in mon uh, Tuesday morning at home. And I was just using another one of those 2017 Halloween kits. So SPC again. Um, oh, I just love this kit. I don't know why I hoarded it for a whole year, but I wanted to give it like, you know, it's due in my planner. And I made some overlays for Halloween. So this cobweb and these bats. Really happy with them. Um, 
But yeah, I didn't do much this week. I watched Casper. I love Casper. I released some new art, Happy Mail, sent a different custom off. I baked a cake for no reason. I listened to music. Um, I played two Bone Hospital. And I watched three billboards on the plane. Sometimes I try to put in like a movie I watched on the plane just to remember. Then this week I used a Halloween kit from this week, this year. This is a photo kit from SPC. But there's a lot of spiders in it and I can't do spiders. Not anymore. <laughs> Although where I am is not filled with horrible spiders, which is nice. But I used this washi from Wonton Million and Fox and Cactus to make extra full boxes. And yeah, I don't know. This ended up being just a normal week. Um, I watched Young Frankenstein. I love that film. <laughs> uh, printed off inserts and vellums and things. Just had a pamper night. I don't know. It's a fairly normal week, but I thought it turned out cute. I wish I had done this box as the same as the wonton, so just to be more, you know, all the same kind of thing. Then my October monthly, which is the Hocus Pocus art I did for SPC, including the washi from the TN kit. Thought that looked cute. And this month was my birthday. I turned 30. So this week I used a witchy kit that I drew that SPC made a kit out of. I used rose gold foil, which I very rarely do. But I love how this turned out. I actually bought a second one of this because I loved it. You know, stroking my own ego, but I do. It's so pretty. And yeah, this was okay or up until then, but I did get my personal wide rings from Foxy in and started doing that. And yeah, just it was okay up until Saturday when my landlord freaked out on me and it was just. Uh, it was just so bad. It was all leading up from when Luck left, but. So it was the worst day ever, and then I didn't sleep for a few, like a week after because of anxiety and panic attacks and things. Just, I felt intrinsically in my body like he was still outside of the house, so I couldn't sleep, and it was just, it was bad. <laughs> um, that's anxiety for you. Uh, and then I had to do a, um, so the next week I had to do a new house, inspe house inspection with him. So this whole week I was just stressed. Endless anxiety, crazy anxiety, hide. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't great. Um, but I used the Sticky Essentials Supernatural kit uh, art that I did um, because Supernatural came back on the Friday. And yeah, I'm total Supernatural trash. Uh, it's been going for so long. <laughs> I love the way this came out in the end, even though it's a lot darker than usual. I don't know. I just love Supernatural. Um, and then I watched the Shane Dawson, Jake Paul thing because, you know, I was in, filled with anxiety, I had to distract myself. And I very much regret it. It was very stupid, um, in my opinion. And then my mom came into a town for my birthday, which is the next week. And then I made the decision on Saturday to move to Finland early in December um, rather than sometime in 2019. So, yeah, which was pretty good. Um, I'm happy with that decision. But, yeah, bit of a hard day, mental health day. Pretty much every single day has anxiety thing except here. So then the next week was Planning World, a birthday kit for my 30th birthday. Um, super duper foiled. I thought this turned out really pretty. And I actually went to Toronto this week on Thursday. Uh, but my birthday, I didn't do anything for my birthday. I don't know. I know it's my 30th, but I was like alone and did nothing. <laughs> Um, so whatever, um, but I had lunch with my mother-in-law on Wednesday, yeah, <laughs> and then I went to Toronto and saw Luck, which was great, we had gyoza and lots of cuddles, 
And Toronto was okay. We had Tim Hortons. We had shopping at Sobeys across the street. Oh, and my, my, my shop anniversary the first year was on Sunday as well. Which is so nice having them together. So I had a big sale this week. It was Samantha's birthday on Friday, so I had to put that in. But yeah, it was fairly, I don't know. Toronto was more like just about decompressing and spending time with each other after the huge thing about and planning to move so yeah it was my birthday <laughs> um and then I didn't film this week I don't believe this was uh the week that I returned on Thursday but I flew all day Friday I go back Saturday morning this is the hocus pocus art I did for Squirrel Prince Co um, I tried, thought this turned out really, really nice. I had a lot of white space in there. I did use two full boxes for the day of flying. Because, you know, I didn't, <laughs> it was a full day. Um, but yeah, I thought this turned out really nice. Just nice to, I planned this when I was having my, like, anxiety stuff. So, yeah, I did ahead of time. Starbucks runs. Uh, I went to the Art Gallery of Ontario, which was really nice. La Carnita was really delicious. Tacos. Um, yeah, say goodbye. And then I picked up Heidi from the borders. And then it was time to start packing up for moving. So then we have November. Um, I just used the... I picked the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving art because I really liked it, and I liked the artist, and it turned out, I don't know, it wasn't like, it was spring, like almost summer here, but you know. So Halloween week, I used this kit from Plan B Creations, which I have a coupon code down below. I just love it because it's Happy Halloween, it's a beautiful, soft, buttery matte, and yeah, Halloween, not much happened, we didn't actually get any trick-or-treaters but I did watch Ernest Get Stupid which is one of my favorite Halloween films I love Ernest I don't know he's just always funny to me and yeah not much I did this week just you know going through my stuff I didn't get my nails removed I had dip um dip powder nails uh, but I did get Heidi's rabies vaccination on Thursday. You know, just general stuff. But I thought this kit was really cute. Then I finally used my first caress press kit of her return. Just so beautiful. I love these star overlays from SBC. And these bows from Tassel Planner and the Pumpkins. So cute. I just, I adore this. Yeah, I stretched Halloween into September and November. <laughs> That's who I am, you know. Um, I clumsily removed my own nails. That's what happened. I didn't get them professionally removed. I probably should have, but nonetheless. And then I was dealing with the Heidi stuff. And I don't know. I didn't do much this week either. It's just packing stuff, got a new suitcase. Cooked a buttload of pasta. Watched some tits, Twitch streaming. Yeah. No, I said, but this week was very beautiful. I loved it. Then I got into the spring summary sets. And this one is the Tangled Mystery Kit from SPC. Drawn by J. Crew Plans. And I did the sticky committee overlay in the bottom. Super sparkly. And use this sort of like aspirational quote from Love Shira. I love that. I started to need those when, you know, just the exhaustion from <laughs> moving by myself um, it was kicking in. I had Skip delivered, Ugh, insomnia streams, uh, insomnia, just crying all the time. It was pretty bad for a while. Lots of insomnia. Um, but it was my mother-in-law's birthday, my friend Amelia turned 32, just lots of packing and, yeah, stuff like that. But I thought this kit was really, really beautiful. I love Tangled. 
Um, then this week I used the Thanksgiving Day kit, even though I don't do Thanksgiving. And it's not autumn, so the pumpkins are a bit silly. But I thought the colors were really bright and fun. I used sprinkle headers. And this was the week of our Steph and I's um, symposium academic conference that we arranged and convened. Um, we were supposed to have a public lecture on the Thursday, but storms in New South Wales like cancelled our keynote speaker from coming. So that was a whole thing. <laughs> and then we were able to video conference them in during the symposium, which was great. Um, oh, I spent I had dinner with Steph and Mark, which was really nice. That was a good day. And then we had our conference dinner at that pasta place, so we had our lunch date. Uh, I recommended it, and that was really good. Spent way too much on wine, but what are you going to do? <laughs> and then I just, I got a new skip. So I filled two skips with really old furniture and things. You accumulate a lot, a lot in, you know, 30 years of life. Um, yeah, so just packing and tidying again. But yeah, I thought this week turned out so good. Even though it wasn't Thanksgiving. <laughs> and then this is my December monthly. I forgot to do the washi, but meh. this month was a bit hard to plan ahead of time. It was just, it just didn't happen. But now the SPC one. But now we're going to get into all the Christmas spreads. This first one is from Caress Press. And just, uh, I adore the colors. It's just so beautiful. And I put all the foil and more love Shira cords. And I started my two weeks until I move uh, countdown, moving countdown from Monique Plans, who is going to be selling them in her store. I don't know when, but well, I can't remember when, but they are coming to the shop. If you want a moving countdown, they're really nice. And just spend a lot of time with friends, watching really in streams. Had my goodbye drinks at uh, my favorite gin bar, Brooklyn. I just use this um, paper milk kit. <laughs> um, I also got cherry beer at the Belgian Beer Cafe, which is great. Uh, I got a large one and I couldn't finish it because it was huge. <laughs> um, yeah, that was really nice to see all those uh, friends at my drinks. Um, that was basically the week, packing, drawing, trying to work. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I just love this week. It's so beautiful. Then we have my first moving week. So the main moving happened this week. I left on the Monday after. And I'm using this moving set from SBC, drawn by me again. <laughs> so not Christmas, I'm sorry. But um, I really wanted to use this moving kit. And it had like a little cat that looks just like my cat because I drew it that way. I mean, it's slightly different. She is an orange spot going down her nose but that's neither here nor there but friday is the day that she left on her trip to finland so i put the this is fine from paper and milk and it was also my last day on thursday at uni packed up my desk and had lunch with steph and my supervisor which was really good but also sad and just putting boxes and then my mom came on friday and we stayed at a hotel from here so we got rid of all my furniture on Friday like all of it um so that was really good just to get it all done on sorry Saturday and so I went to a Christmas party and we saw Peter Coombe perform his Christmas album uh, you probably won't know him but he is like a classic Australian children's performer definitely hit him up look up Peter Coombe if you have kids or not I know if you like whimsical things He's great. I love Peter Coombe. Grew up with him and everything. Um, then I had my last night in Australia. But yeah, I really enjoyed using this kit. It was just felt very surreal to finally be moving. And then back to Christmas because this was my first week in Finland. And I used this kit from Peach Palm that I got at the New York conference. And it just turned out so beautiful. It has all those silver overlays. I'll use these silver glitter headers from SBC just to make it really light and silvery and frosty. So Monday was moving day. 
And I said goodbyes, get on the plane. <laughs> I arrived at um, I arrived in Helsinki that night, so like Tuesday night. So I just stayed at the airport hotel, and Locke joined me. And we just slept. It was so good. Uh, on the plane, I watched The Man Who Invented Christmas, which I actually really enjoyed. I love Charles Dickens. If you didn't know, Great Expectations is one of my all-time favorite books. So I really enjoyed that. Plus, I love Christmas Carol as well. And we stayed at the airport because Wednesday, Heidi arrived, and she didn't wait. She was on in customs a couple of hours um, just to have a check on, by their vet, I think. Um, but she comes from a rabies-free country, so she didn't need to stay long. So we picked her up, and we actually got an Airbnb in um, Helsinki that was pet-friendly, so she just kind of decompressed in their laundry slash bathroom and just chilled in there. I think she needed it because by the time we got home home on Friday, she was perfectly normal. But we went around Helsinki to a few new places. We got salmon soup, which is actually delicious. And we checked out a whole bunch of old places because we've been there like four times before. We've been to Finland a few times, <laughs> um, which is why this move wasn't so scary, to be honest. We we're kind of finophiles. <laughs> Um, but it was really nice to spend some time in Helsinki. And then we took the nine-hour train to Olu, where I live. Um, we left at like 6 a.m., 6.30 a.m. train. And Heidi was just in a little pet, soft pet carriage that you can you can put under seats and planes, but we just had it on the train on the floor. And she just slept and relaxed there the whole train ride. They have like a pet area on their trains. So there was a bunch of dogs and cats around us, and it was pretty hilarious. Um, I'd highly recommend the pet car, because then you can look at all the good boys. But yeah. <laughs> um, so we got to Olu, settled her in, got some groceries. So that was pretty good. This sort of relaxed the rest of the weekend, but I really loved using this sort of white, wintry, snowy kit. The snow is falling from... Simply watercolor co because it wasn't in Helsinki, but it was all snow up in Olu, and it was very magical. Um, but the snow boots I had bought in Adelaide um, ended up giving me really bad blisters, and they were very uncomfortable. So I bought new boots for at just the grocery store nearby, the um, shopping center, and uh, they are much much better. I don't know. <laughs> I should always trust that kind of instinct, but yeah, so yeah, yay, snow boots. Then back to more Christmas. This is uh, from Caress Press, and I just love this. Just some more sort of traditional red Christmassy look. And this week I actually went to Tampere, a nearby city. It's about four hours on the train, so I took the morning and the evening train and um, met my external supervisor. And Tampere was actually, I felt really cold, even though it was warmer than Olu, but I don't know, my thumbs went numb for a bit there. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna lose the use of my thumbs. Sorry about that accent. I've been playing Red Dead Redemption, but um, yeah, oh well. It was fine. They warmed up and had feeling again after a while. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so we've just been cooking a lot. That's all fun. It was minus 22 degrees Celsius on Sunday, which I don't know what it is in Fahrenheit, but very, very cold. <laughs> minus 22. And then back in Adelaide, it was like 30, 40 something. It was like 60 degrees difference. Crazy. We still went out to the shops and we got Hesburger which is like Finnish McDonald's, even though they do have McDonald's as well. But we have Hesburger near us, so we got one of those. And then we just got home and snuggled, <laughs> got all snuggly with blankets because it was cold. And then the last week in this planner is Christmas week, and I didn't film this one because it messed up. I didn't have my lights in and I couldn't see anything. Um, and then after I had a really bad plan with me, my lights arrived a few hours later. Typical. 
So I didn't, I scrapped this plan with me, but here it is, my Home Alone spread. It's from SPC using my Home Alone art. And I used real glitter headers from Colourpop Paper. Tried something a bit different. Didn't really, don't really like it. I don't like this spread actually, kind of ruined it. <laughs> um, but I did use all the fun, like Christmas icons from Simply Watercolor Co. And this full box overlay I made back in Australia, feeling that gingerbread feeling, which is a line from the song in the film, like in the credits and through the film, the choral, the, the chorus, um, choir, whatever. This is one of the lines, and I love it. Feeling that gingerbread feeling. And it just makes me think of Christmas gingerbread. So, in Christmas Day, we watched The Grinch, and it was snowing, so amazing. We cooked an amazing dinner, but our neighbors kept us up all night talking and laughing until 7 a.m. So then the rest of the week, I was kind of like, my sleep patterns was destroyed, and I just didn't even remember what I did most days. So I don't know. On Friday, we went into Olu. I bought nail, nail polish. And we got burgers. And yeah. Updated WoW because we're thinking of playing World of Warcraft again. Watch Jumanji 2. I don't know. Not Jumanji 2. The new Jumanji film. But... Otherwise, yeah, I thought I'd ruin this week. It's not that great. Oh, well. Maybe next this year. But that was the end of my 2018. And my 2018 planner. So if you like this, don't forget to big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Um, I hope you have a wonderful week. And I'll see you next time. Bye.